Okay. So all that glitters is gold. Ah, that's bad singing. Um, glitter. All that glitters is gold. 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 Um. So you maybe you've heard that that little saying. All that glitters is gold. I am no gold glitters, but all that glitters is not necessarily gold. Um, all that glitters has no or a small band gap. Doesn't really roll off the tongue the same way. You can see why they didn't put it in that song I was trying to sing earlier, but that's that's a little more accurate. All that glitters has no or a small band gap. And what well, what is, what does glitter mean? I mean, what does glitter mean? Glitter means that it's it's shiny, right? It's shiny. What does shiny mean? Shiny means that we've got um, most of the incident light. That's the light that's hitting the surface is reflected. Reflected. And of incident light. I should have put in there, right? Light. But, but what's light? You know, we got to be so specific with this. I mean, it's not enough to say all that glitters is gold. We got to talk about the band gap. No, glitters is not good enough. We got to be specific. Um, the incident light, you know, again, we're talking about light in the visible spectrum, right? This is the visible spectrum. Well, we can expand on that actually a little bit later, but, but let's, let's look at this. What does this mean? And really, you know, okay, I'm being kind of silly here. Uh, I'm a, I'm a funny guy. Like, I'm a, well, I don't know if I'm funny, but I'm weird. Well, <laughs> you can think what you want. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we want to consider, uh, what, what, why a metal looks the way it does? Why is a metal shiny? That's really what I'm trying to get at. Here. And, and so this is our our band structure here, and we have this um, uh, these this, these filled states in a metal adjacent to unfilled states. And so what happens here? What we we're what happens is when a photon of light, okay, a photon having energy E equals HC over lambda is incident on a metal. Here's our metal. That photon energy is enough to excite an electron up um, from one of these filled states to a vacant, unfilled state. So this photon here is going to cause excitation or promotion, it's sometimes called. Which means that the um, that, that, that means that the photon there is absorbed. But this is only a temporary excitation. After a period of time, that's temporary, right? Temporary. After a period of time, that electron will drop back down. And what happens when it drops back down? It re-emits a photon of light. So because metals have no band gap, um, Visible light can promote electrons into these unfilled states, absorbing all the photon energy, and then subsequent transitions back down to the lower energy states for the electrons results in this re-emission. Emission, sorry. Re-emission. Emission, there you go, I spelt it right that time. Re-emission, and that's why um, metals appear shiny, because they're re-emitting across the, essentially, across 
all wavelengths, the whole spectrum. Now you might wonder, okay, well, what about why is it then that gold is kind of yellow, right? Gold versus maybe aluminum, which appears more silvery. You know, what's the difference? Well, there's there's some absorption. Um, that so there, there's some absorption of and, and without re-emission of some of the short wavelengths and so we get a slightly different color but it's still re-emitting and so it still appears shiny and so that's a little breakdown of that simple statement all that glitters is gold um, and it gives us a good uh, sort of um, first look at the uh, colors and uh, optical properties of, of matter.